Namaste. I want to share with you, for me, the hardest teaching in yoga is the fact that it is not about the doing. <laughs> and the difficulty of just letting things be and that things are actually right. It was last week that I went to my yoga class and I said to myself, I really, really want to learn that the universe as it is playing out is perfect. And that everything in it is just as it is perfect. <laughs> and so I, I live this, or I try to live this through my yoga practice, through the physical body and understand it through the physical body. And I then was looking at my press. I did lose my press with uh, an injury that I had in my hip. I think, uh, I guess I hurt my inner thigh muscle. And that lasted for about five years where, mm, but now I can't figure out the dates. So four years ago, I did a press. Ah, oh, it was in that year that the injury started. So that would have been my last press I did for the, because mm, I couldn't even bring my knees to my chest. My hip was so sore, I couldn't hop up onto my haunches. So, <clears throat> so I've been getting back and getting back into my Ashtanga practice and, but for the first time it's not for real, uh, thanks to lockdown and, and then I looked at, but I've got so much more strength, I've got so much more understanding, I've got so much more and, and the press is just not looking the way that I want my body to move in which direction. So. Then last night I was lying in bed and it was like knocking on my head. It's like, wait a minute, go check your previous video where you by accidentally did a press. And so I also was explaining to my students that elements will be keep coming back, gently will be coming back in its own time. And you will revisit same kind of elements again, like where's the neck, where's the shoulders, where am I holding my pelvis, am I lifting my core, am I integrated in the ribs, am I, you know, and it, it will, it's like a cycle, just as we work through the chakras and just as we work through the philosophy. And, uh, and then it was knocking on my head and it said, don't worry where the neck is. So now I've got the knowledge, the neck has to be back, shoulders have to be open, the chest lifted. And the words were, feel where your chest is. Just keep feeling where your chest is. So this morning I did my practice and I just had the awareness as best I can on the chest. Of course, it didn't make me just jump back and do my press. But if I can feel and I like it, it's going in the right direction. And my practice was much softer and that's the greatest teaching for me is the letting go in the practice, not the, I love analyzing, I love thinking about things, I love figuring it out. But there's a point where it comes where you actually just things are perfect and just enjoy and relax into it and let the universe flow through you, within you, around you. And so for me, that is, that is the hard practice. Yeah. Thank you. Namaste.